Happy Homebrew Wednesday. It's Lambert 22, and uh, today I am uh, I'm making my New Zealand IPA. Uh, today I'm actually drinking uh, coffee. I'll have a shot of me drinking a little bit later. Uh, but uh, I am uh, making my New Zealand IPA again. Uh, this time I'm swapping out. I did all two row last time, and this time I'm going to throw uh, four pounds of Maris Otter in it. And uh, instead of the Nelson Savon. I think that's what it is. I am uh, swapping out Pacific Jade. And the reason why I'm swapping it out is I ordered it a long time ago and I've got it in my freezer. I might as well use it uh, because I really want to duplicate what I, I made, but I want to make it a little bit more multi. I'm tr trying to tweak it. So uh, I already started the mash. I think it's about, was it eight o'clock? It's eight o'clock right now in the morning. Uh, I'm half, half an hour into the mash. So uh, I'm going to show you some clips after after this uh, and uh, that's about it uh, I don't have any big updates uh, I've been uh, there's a new guy out on the scene I want to give a shout out to Undertable Brewing and uh, he's got some good uh, good ass videos and uh, if you haven't checked them out check them out and I'm gonna post his little link down here or in the comments so I've got some other clips I want to show you a little bit later and uh, we'll get to it uh, brewing the New Zealand IPA I guess we call this version 1.5 because it's not I'm not tweaking it that that much so if anyone's interested in my uh, recipe just let me know and I will shoot it to you take care guys and I'll probably say goodbye later, a little bit later too yep this is the way I have my grain mill set up so I've got the the uh, drill sitting right on the chair and then I've got the grains filled in there and I got like a, a double double bucket stack here so it fits perfectly and then all I have to do is turn on the drill and watch it go down it goes pretty slow Added my grains and just getting all making sure all the dough balls are out. Temperature is a little high, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, just stir it around a little bit, try to get it cooled down, and uh, that's about, about it for this. Getting out the dough balls. Got my first mash mash out. Uh, color looks really good, and uh, so. I'll just collect my six and a half gallons and I will be going. The brew is almost happening. So, I still got, oh, pretty soon. It's at almost 200. So, we're just waiting, waiting for the boil. And the boil has started. I added my hops already. And uh, got those things sucker. Yep, got a big bag of it. So uh, at 45 minutes, I add my Machueca, my first uh, edition. So this was my, uh, I wouldn't say it's a fine, but uh, a guy at the wedding, he gave me a corny keg that's probably 20 years old. Well, I think they're all about 20 years old. And a CO2 tank, and it's full. And the uh, CO2 tank is full. I mean, it's full. But it's 20 years old. The date on that on the uh, on the CO2 tank is 92, so it has it needs to be uh, repurged. But anyone uh, have any ideas about the old CO2? Should I just trade it in, get it repurged, or what? Uh, let me know. And uh, the corny keg was actually sitting by uh, the pool. It was all dirty and everything, but it cleaned up better than uh, the ones I have. Huh. Added my 30-minute hops. And uh, we are, we're cooking. I got, uh, I already dumped my grains. I'm already doing my cleanup. I have some stuff I have to do this afternoon. So uh, we're rocking and rolling. One more minute and I'm done my brew. And then all I got left is chill. Chill, check the gravity and uh, throw the pitch of yeast. Dang, this is pretty early. It's almost, I'll be done by 11 o'clock. And the temperature goes down.
In 11 minutes, I'm down to 91. Pretty awesome. Not going to be like this during the summer. Oh well. Okay, this is the first time I've actually done this. But I've been having a little bit of problem with some of my, some of them taste a little buttery, the diactyl. So. Crazy there. Whip it up. You get the jet. Fish out with five gallons, so that's good. I usually like to get it about five and a quarter, but I didn't get, get it this time. That's okay. I can survive. I'm out. Peace. So, I don't know if you can, if it's focusing on it, but it looks like I scored a 1069, which is dead nuts on with my, uh, my Beersmith app. So, I'm freaking ecstatic. The brew day is done, the day is done. I already did my stuff that I had to do during the day. Uh, brew day, I didn't get to drink any beers, but I'm drinking right now. I'm uh, drinking my Bailey my Bailey Brown, and it's pretty good. Uh, I need to hop it up a little bit next time, but uh, it's still a good beer. Cheers, everyone. See you guys next week. Uh, thanks for all my new uh, subscribers, new subscribers, old subscribers. Love comments. Uh, go ahead and do it, and uh, I will check out your videos also. Peace.